Hello everyone, my name is Michael at michaelstutorials.com and in this episode of our login system tutorial series I'm going to explain a bit of what the PHP does. I'm going to finish our login um, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to ask if you guys would like me to continue this series further into character creation system as well as character creation system connected with MySQL. Um, and that's about it for this one, so let's get started. Um, so in localhost slash PHP my admin or wherever your database is, um, go under accounts. Make sure the name accounts is lowercase a, all lowercase really. So accounts, A C C O U N T S. Make sure that essentially you need to make sure that everything in here in your PHP script is spelled oops, the same exact way you have things spelled in your database. So in here you'll see that I have accounts, all lowercase, and that is because my database is accounts, all lowercase. So if I open up the table we're using, um, email, you know, spelled email, password, spelled password, characters, characters, right? And you need to make sure that all the spelling, the capitalization, is the very same you have right here under insert into accounts, all lowercase, email, password, characters. All these need to be the same spelling. Um, and that is how that works basically. It just it has to be very specific. Um, and now I have already typed out the login PHP script and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all of this over. And I'm just gonna fix this up. Password Um, okay, so now that that's all done, we should be good to go. Um, it should be working, but first of all, I'm going to explain it. So host name is, you know, your host name, your database name is accounts, which would be accounts right here, your database. Um, and then user is the username for your database and password is the password for your database, right? All right. And then email and and underscore request is requesting the email which we put in in our code right here. Form to add field email. Make sure the spelling in your script is the same right here. So email, capital email right capital E capital E so make sure the spelling is the same exact thing um, let me pause okay I'm back um, and that's essentially all there is to it now if you want what you have to do for this is actually just pause the video and type all this script out um, um, and that is how you'll get the script unless of course I will be putting these scripts up for purchase the whole project as a matter of fact um, for, you know, really cheap, just so that if you don't want to type it out or if you want to have it typed out already for you while you watch the tutorials, you know, you can do that. Um, so yeah, now we want to explain this. So select from accounts, so select from our database where email equals the email we put in from Unity. So yeah, that's fairly self-explanatory. Um, and now we're putting that into MySQL if total, which means if it exists, we'll do what's in here. And in here, we're checking to make sure the password is the same. We're checking if we have any characters, and then we're echoing our characters, how much we have, the number, and we're splitting it right here with a colon, and then we're typing success. And in Unity, if we get um, success will continue. If we don't get success, we will not. Um, and that's essentially all there is to it. Um, and if we don't have the same password, it'll say wrong password. I'll, t I'll change that to wrong password. Like so. And if we don't have total, which is our email, then we'll say name does not exist, except I'm going to change this to email does not exist. And that is it. And now 
go ahead and put that into your htdocs folder under xamp or put that in your web hosting wherever you're putting it in your web hosting and get the link to it and then we can go into our script and I'm going to do our URL which should be login account T that's what I named mine you can name yours whatever you want um, and now if we go down to our coroutine section I'm going to create another coroutine I enumerator login account like so and now I'm going to add a quick debug attempting to log in. Now if I go into our login GUI under login I'm going to start coroutine in here I'm going to put login account like so and now if we just go ahead and go into unity open our scene which should be under assets oops we have a error and that is because we're not returning anything um, uh, let's just put that there and let's just test it out see if our login button works and it is working okay so I only did that because I knew it would work but I wanted to show you guys the power of debugging it just if your button wasn't working you could add that and figure out why or if it is but it's just not doing the other stuff um, you know basically debugging is how you fix things and it's important to learn that so I just I think you should try to put that everywhere all right well not too much but you know anyways let's continue um, so we need w, 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 w. <laughs> that was bad www form form equals new www form like so um, let me just get back to this and ignore the Skype form .add field email l email it should be like that if I'm correct Yep, email and password alone, like so. Form .add field password comma oops comma password like so. And now we need a new www alone. Create login account equal new www. And this basically just connects you to the page or your URL. So login URL, comma, form, like so. Now yield return login account www, like so. And now if So
so I just went ahead and commented things out and added our debug log error. Um, so this right here means if login account error not equal to no, which means it exists, there is an error. And this one means that it can't connect, so I put in our debug.log error. Um, and you can add whatever you want here. So for example, you could make the current page equal to can't connect to login, and you could show in your GUI can't connect, please try again. Um, but I'm not doing that just to keep our tutorial simple. Um, and else we do debug.log. Oops, I'm going to actually create a string. String log text. Like so. And now we can do log text in our debug. And if we actually need to create another string for a string with those two symbols at the end to signify that we're creating an array, string or array string, um, log text split equals log text dot split. And we need, don't put um, the actual these, put the other two. Uh, otherwise it will not work and we're going to want to use colon. So we're splitting the text using a colon, which means the array will contain two, two strings essentially um, that are split up between this colon. So in our PHP script, the characters will be a, um, a string, success will be a string, and the colon will be ignored, but that splits it up. So let's get back to it. If log text split, add those again, one, equals success application dot load level character creation um, or we could do it like this If log text split zero, oops, not ten, <laughs> zero equals zero, like so, application.load level character creation. Else, if log text split one, oops, I'm sorry, we actually want to do inside our if. We're going to create another if statement. Um, if log text split one, oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, that's right. Equal success. Else, copy this. And type in character selection or whatever scene you want to load after. Um, so if we have no characters, load load creation. Else load selection. Like so. And that should be it. Um, now let's go ahead and give it a test run. Oops. Michael at yahoo.com. Michael at yahoo.com. like so. Success on that one. Okay, so I found the error and it is because up here we have PHP and we need that in here as well. 
um, in our login. So let's go ahead and try it again. Wrong password. Um, uh, that should be the right password. Hmm. Thinking. Let me create another account. As, 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 as. Oops. Hmm, fascinating. Okay, and the next error in our PHP script was right here on line 24. If string compare password and password from our array that we fetched um, is not equal to each other, is what we had, like so, and it needs to just equal to each other. So no um, exclamation point. And that should fix our problem if we go in here clear our console and press login now, you'll see that it has zero for zero characters and success. And it tries to load level character creation because it is zero. So all is working. And now if we want to further prove our point, let's go ahead and create a new scene and call it, whoops, save scene character creation. New scene character selection. And now if we go into login, oops, I forgot to add those to the build settings. Like so, now we can try it again. And success, and up here, you can see now that we are now in the character creation um, scene. And if we go back, you can see we're back in our login screen scene. Um, so yeah, everything is working now. And if you would like me to continue this series into character creation as well as character selection, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Subscribe and like.